What's up everyone, welcome to your fourth tutorial in Flash. Today we're going to be creating our first actual animation. So to be able to animate our image, we first need to understand this thing called the timeline. And the timeline is made up of a bunch of these tiny little rectangles. Each one of them is called a frame. Now what each frame represents is a slightly different image and then when you play each frame after one another it creates the image of an animation or a movement. Now there are two different types of frames. A keyframe and keyframes are any frame that you can draw in or just regular blank frames and what these blank frames are are just placeholders that Flash uses to fill automatically based on what your keyframes are. So you draw in keyframes and Flash uses the blank frames automatically to fill in. Now here's how you make a keyframe. And you can tell if one of your frames is a keyframe because it has a little circle in it. This means keyframe. If it doesn't have a circle it's called just a regular frame. So to make a keyframe, click on any frame and right click it and type insert keyframe on the drop down list. So click that and now you can see that your frame has a circle in it. So once it's a keyframe we can now draw on the stage. So go ahead and pick a shape, I'll pick the rectangle and draw any image on the stage. As you can see we now have a shape in our keyframe this is going to be our first frame. Now, go ahead to another section on the timeline, say go to 10 and insert another keyframe. So now this is our 10th frame. And since we're making an image to change from 1 to 10, we want to move it slightly to show change. So now, here's image 1 in keyframe 1 and here's our image in keyframe 10 so now if we go ahead and play this image and you can do this two, way, two ways go control down to play or a faster way is to simply press enter you can go ahead and see that our image is kind of hopping from one side to the next now there's two ways that you can animate your image. The first way is to do it frame by frame. So for instance, you can go click right here and then you can move really, and then on the next frame you can move more and on the next frame move more or there's an easier way. And the easier way is called tweening. And what tweening does is tell Flash to automatically fill in the blanks to create a motion. And there are two types of tweens. A, sh a shape tween, which lets you tween objects that are edible, or also change objects that are shapes or motion tweens. So anytime you don't want to tween in a straight line, you want to pick a motion tween. But for now, we'll use a shape tween. And here's how you create a shape tween. Click anywhere between your two keyframes on the timeline and go down here to tween and press shape. As you can see we now have a green arrow pointing to the first keyframe to the second keyframe. This tells Flash automatically create frames so we can animate our objects from keyframe to keyframe. Now as you see when we test the movie Flash automatically created frames to fill in the blanks to create the effect of a motion in our image and you can also do this when you don't want to use the same, same image and you want to morph your image so let's go ahead and delete these keyframes and this is how you do that anytime you want to remove frames, frames or any you want to delete, right click it and click remove frames. And then let's go ahead and insert a keyframe by right clicking and insert a keyframe into frame number one. 
Now let's create a basic shape and, and then let's go to another frame later down on our timeline and insert another keyframe so we can draw in it. But instead of a square, we want to make this one a circle. As you have a circle in frame 20 and a square in frame 1. Now if we apply a shape tween, look what happens. Flash automatically tweens your object to morph into the shape of the latter object or later one. As you can see, Flash automatically created frames in the middle, which allows you not having to create keyframe frame by frame. And this is how you use the shape tween to move a single object to another place or to morph an object into another one. And these are some pretty basic tweens that you can use to animate your animation. And in the next subject we'll be talking more about some more animation techniques. And of course you can go to my website thenewboston.com if you missed anything I talked about today and I'll give you a step by step tutorial. Thank you.